Yeah, and now to this question, do the masks that you wear every day really stop your cough or sneeze? Florida Atlantic researchers turned out the lights to track the spread and just how well the masks work. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell tonight showing us what doctors discovered. That's what a heavy cough might look like when you're not wearing a mask. Researchers at Florida Atlantic University looked at the effectiveness of different face coverings. A bandana, a multi-layered homemade mask, and a cone-style covering. The CDC recommends masks in public to help prevent you from spreading COVID-19 to other people. Also to give you some protection against those other people around you who could be coughing or sneezing or talking loudly or singing and spraying those droplet nuclei 12 feet across the room right into your nose. Without a mask, researchers saw droplets move up to 12 feet in about 50 seconds. They say the well-fitted masks with many layers and the cone style did the best job reducing the spread. Loosely folded and bandana coverings worked to some extent. Results showed droplets traveled more than three feet with bandanas compared to two and a half inches with a quilted cotton mask. You wouldn't, if you were a police officer, go out without your flak jacket. It's uncomfortable, it's heavy, and on days like this, it's warm. But you never know. So you protect yourself and you're protecting your family. So how often should you wash your masks? Dr. Wolfson explained it depends on the mask, but for some, you can treat them like you would your socks. When you're done for the day, you clean it. Experts giving you a glimpse how masks work while still asking. Be responsible, be respectful of others, exercise common sense and be a good citizen. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.